I'm making a quick little video today about a kind of deep principle of truth. Because when we're born into this world, we're born into a dimension. And most of us were born into a dimension of darkness with the father of lies because we were raised by parents who didn't speak the truth in love and member each other. They practiced the cunning craftiness of men that lie in wait to deceive. So there wasn't really a spirit of marriage and love. And we have to, when we get born again, we have to actively pursue the right thing. You know, even I thought of a prov uh, I think it's a Psalm that says, you know, do good, do good. <laughs> so good. So righteousness reap, you know, reap the right thing. So in Ephesians, it talks about the scripture that says, put away the cunning craftiness of men that lie in wait to deceive. Speak the truth in love because we're members one of another. Any relationship at all where people are not speaking the truth in love, they're not also membering each other. They're not actually becoming the bride of Christ that's growing up. There's just like no growth or just totally stunted growth or destruction with people that lie in wait to deceive and practice the cunning craftiness of men. I was talking about a scripture yesterday that says they received not the love of the truth. And therefore God sent them delusions that they might believe lies, that they might be damned. So it's not really God damning us. We're held captive by the cords of our own sin. The proverb says it's spiritual law. <clears throat> and unless we fight to get in the right government, the government of God being led by the spirit, fighting to be led by the spirit, all things won't work together for good. So specifically, I want to talk about marriage because what is the, the marriage exemplifies the union of Christ in the church. And so there's another proverb that says you hate those that you lie to. You hate them. And so we, we were, most of us were grew up in user friendly with user friendly parents that didn't speak the truth in love and didn't member each other. They had secrets, they had demilitarized zones. You know, they, they uh, were willing to hide and lie to, to get what they wanted out of the relationship, but it, it's corrupt. So they're dead, the, the, the marriage is dead. Our relationships with each other are dead while we live, when we, when we li are lying, when we're in the, the realm, the, the, the Satan's government, the father of lies. So, um, I was thinking about when I was really young, I got married and, and it wasn't, there was never a spirit of marriage. It was total usury. This guy was using me to fix his crime problem. And he probably would have gotten a thousand years in prison had he had to go to prison for all the crimes he committed. If you haven't listened to my story on being married to the Ted Bundy of Colorado, you can look that up. Um, on YouTube, put in Yellowstone Women's Valley Magazine, C.C. Sullivan, Out of the Ashes, Into the Fire, you'll find it. So my father was a priest. My mom was a priest's wife. We grew up in a house of deceit. They had a relationship of deception. <laughs> they weren't speaking the truth in love to one another. So, so back to the hate thing, because that sounds kind of drastic, but they receive not the love of the truth. What is that? That's the love of Jesus. That's the love of the kingdom of light. It's the love of the government of God. If Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, if um, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth, if uh, God is the God of all truth, we got serious problems when we live life like liars and we're actually hating everybody and ripping apart relationships in the dimension of darkness because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. How does he do that? He does it through people calling themselves Christians. And that's the worst part when there's people that are Christians that haven't received the love of the truth. They haven't received the love of Jesus. They haven't received the love of the Father, the God of all truth. They haven't received Jesus the way, the truth, and the life. And because they're double-minded, they're unstable, and they don't get anything from the Lord. You can't marry those people. They're unmarriable because they're deceitful. And that's what ruins every single relationship 
And so I'm gonna go back to the guy that should have gotten a thousand years in prison. I got saved uh, maybe a year after we were married, kind of, in an Episcopal church. Wasn't filled with the spirit, dead religion, I was trying though. I, the Lord was using me where, you know, helping me where I was at. And, but progressively through the course of four or five years, I got filled with the spirit, which was, that took me into a whole different dimension because I could see past words. Then I could see past what my eyeballs could see. It's the value of speaking in tongues. So everything changed after that. I went to, into a different dimension altogether and I could see past the cunning craftiness of men. What I didn't do was just throw that guy in the trash. And probably most people would have. I got my hands clean from the blood of all men. I started loving his soul. I started seeing past the wickedness, the liar, the cunning, you know, the prideful man, the liar, you know, who created division constantly in the relationship, showed me how much he hated me by lying all the time. It's like having scissors in your hand. Every time you lie, you might as well just cut that relationship up because the devil's just using you to tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, because that's his only plan. So, you know, it was really cool. I don't have any regrets because I overcame evil with good. <clears throat> I did well under oppression. I loved his soul when he didn't love me. Uh, when he actually hated me. And there was really stuff that after I got filled with the spirit, I mean, I, I should have been calling the cops on the guy. Not not that I mean, I, I did end up calling the cops but, uh, early on. I mean, there, were, there was stuff that I was just too dumb and too needy t to really face. You know, and anytime somebody forces you to, to be intimate, isn't that rape? Yeah, so I was a pretty dumb blonde and gifts perverted judgment. And I was lost in lies, I was in the, government of Satan because we're spiritual beings. We're physical beings and we're also acting out our spirit. Our soul is acting out in a spiritual realm and we get to choose which one we want. And because Jesus doesn't want to put a gun to anybody's head and make them love him. <clears throat> I have a friend who was forced to get married to a pastor son, all right? Cause she'd slept with him. But the guy didn't want to marry her. It's hell on earth. When somebody marries you and they don't want to be married to you and they don't love you, <clears throat> even marrying somebody and having that constant lying and cunning craftiness, it's absolute treachery because it's spiritual adultery is really what it boils down to. Because who you have an affair with? The father of lies. And that's why it's so horrible. I know so many women that have had women, men that were unfaithful to them that turned around and practice the cunning craftiness of men who lie and wait to deceive. You can't marry them either, you know? It's constantly just trying to get out of their web of deception. You know, her heart is bands and snares and traps and whoever escapes those pleases God. And you know, I don't regret any of the women I've loved that had a relationship with the, fa the, li the father of lies and didn't do well in speaking the truth in love because I practiced the same principle with them. I saw past the demons that they probably could have swatted like a mosquito on their arm. The devil scared to death that we might wake up and see how totally impotent he really is. But people that are deceived, they're being deceived. Oh, the devil's so big and Jesus is so little. It's part of the deception of those that receive not the love of the truth. Anyway, I'm compelling everybody who's listening to this to go into the right dimension in their spirit, man, because we're spiritual beings. And we get to decide which government we want to spend our life in. The father of lies, the, the voice of the stranger, or the good father. And, and speaking the truth in love so we're growing up together because there's only two choices. In every given situation, you're being used by hell to take people down that you say you don't love to enough to not tell the truth to, or you're building that relationship up, speaking the truth in love. And I pray to God, you choose this day who you will serve, because Jesus isn't interested in forcing anybody to love him. Amen.